Hey guys, welcome to Archland. So we are here with our rune guide. Number one is tips on leveling up. Number two is going to be sets on how to activate sets. And number three is going to be the runes that you should use and where should you use them. Okay, so you have three rarities. As you can see here, you have your R's, the blue ones here. You have your SR's are the gold and the, SR, and the SSR's are these guys the multi-colored ones so make sure that in any of them um if you're leveling up to one to five level one to five do not use i'm gonna use an example here okay uh it's an example so i'm i'm gonna look for a level zero let's say this one so if you want to enhance if it's one to five you actually need to consume uh father which is um also runes that you're not going to be using and we're going to be discussing later the runes that you're going to be using as father right before we finish with this section so that is it so one to five uh runes for father you use um if you have a lot then you could actually level up to 10 using runes as well but if not you will need to use these guys. This one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This powder is going to be used to level up between 10 up. 10 to 20. I think the runes are maximum of level 20. So you can actually use the powder 10 up. It would be difficult if you use father to level up. So as you can see here. It's going to be a max of level 20 for your SSR. So level 10, level 11 to 20 is going to be the powder. And from 5 to 10, it's going to be fodder. So what are the what are your fodder runes? The fodder is F-O-D-D-E-R. So not a father, not, not your dad. So um, more or less, um, the fodder runes would be... Just going to give you guys an example here. First one is going to be the dragon. The dragon is actually a father, a father rune. Uh, um, we don't use this that much. I'll make an exception for gold. But if you go down to here, if you have R's, then definitely you can use them as father, the dragon. Next up is going to be the hawk. So the hawk is also a father you can sacrifice the hawk next one is um can't find any yeah this one the horse horse is also not used that much so you can sacrifice it as father so next one is the wolf as well so you can sacrifice wolf we don't we don't use it as much um the other one is the snowflake this one you can sacrifice this as well. Then, uh, if I could find a tree. So, the tree versus tree. Uh, sacrifice most of my trees. Here it is. So, the tree um, for R, you can actually use as sacrifice. So, that's it. I think the last one would be the serpent. This is the serpent or Ouroboros. So, you can sacrifice it as well. So, Wolf, dragon, hawk, horse, serpent, snowflake, and tree. Those are your fathers when you use runes to upgrade other runes. And moving on to the next would be um, the sets and see how you're going to be grouping them. Okay, so as a set, be sure, um, usually for, let's say, for example, um, let's say for, I'm going to use the sword, the sex sword. It's, it's, it says here. <laughs> anyway, if I'm going to use the sword, so to activate um, this one, the 20% increase in general attack, it should be 4. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, please make sure that you have equipped 4. If you only, if you only equip 3, it won't activate. So it's grayed out. So you need to have 4 of the 6. Let me just uh, let me uh, sorry. Let me just equip it back, and it's activated again. So you're active. You're active here, though. So for the sword, if you have four, you activate both. You have physical attack of five 
and 20% increase in general attack damage. That is applicable to all the runes. Okay, so Warden, why are we having these two? So it's important that you fill the slots as well with any of the applicable runes that you have um, because they will add to your stats as well or your damage in this case. So with these two, this is the Hawk. So the Hawk uh, for two gives you an additional physical penetration of plus 5%. Plus, again, it gives you additional stats as you can see here. So stats here. If you level it up again, it will give you additional stats to boot. So it's not a waste of space, but the most important is that you activate the four. Then you have two slots, two pieces for the two slots remaining. Okay, so um, what? should you use and um, um, which should you use it with okay so that is our next topic so i will start with the battle axe so your battle axe is mainly used for assassins so your battle axe is during during active attacks increase the damage dealt by 10 percent and decrease the damage received by 10 percent so it's usually the default rune for your uh what they call this your assassins so you can actually use them in in words as well but again it's best for assassins okay so best rune for physical damage dealers in general okay so that is why i use it in clarice okay next is going to be for your priest so definitely it's it's the only rune that i think you you should use for your priest especially if the priest is really built for that for healing so it's gonna give you it's going to be um the cross so it's gonna give you hp plus five percent and healing effect plus twenty percent so for priests definitely use the cross next is going to be your let's go to other runes here let's just uh this one the gladiator no not this one not that one so let's uh, look for the gladiator here. The gladiator is different from the kite shield, so don't don't mix up the two. This is what the gladiator looks like. So the gladiator guys is good for assassins that you know rely on critical hits, uh, but it's usually you know used. Usually the axe is a better option for your assassins. Okay, so next, the ones that I am going to um, show to you. It is going to be with Nicholas. So the next one is going to be the hourglass. The hourglass is, um, the four-piece hourglass is going to give you, um, so after using a skill to damage an enemy, that there's a 50% chance to reduce its cooldown by two, per by two turns. Not two percent, two turns. So take note, this has a good uh, utility with mages, and it also gives a magic defense penetration of plus five percent. So it's a, usually the universal rune for mages. So moving on to the knight. The knight is uh kind of kind of intriguing. This one, the knight. Because um, it's really weird to use. Um, you can usually use it with um, with uh, a hybrid between a tank or a summoner. So again, um, this is not really used so far. We don't have a knight, knight summoner combo. But in the future, we might have. Next up is going to be your magic eye so the magic eye is being used by hassan so the magic eye this one is in um when dealing damage there is a 40 percent chance to apply a random debuff to to a target so this uh, set uh, is very useful for mages that apply debuffs especially for hassan so moving on next is for your tanks which I have one. So Gabriel is using uh, the shield, this one. So the shield is gain 10% incoming damage reduction. So this is it, the four. So best rune for tanks. So far, never regret um, um, having this with her. Um, it makes tanks 
able to uh, to to absorb uh, to absorb more damage. Okay, and the next one I don't have it here, but hopefully I have it uh, in stock. So it's called the staff. Can't find a staff. Can't find a single staff. I did have a staff. There you go. So this is your staff. So the staff is um go is a good rune for mages who have who have very good cooldown already and they need more damage. So this is where this comes in. So it gives 10% damage dealt when using skill and 5% dealt when using range skills. So this can only be used by a mage because it gives magic attack. It's a pity that this can't be used by a by, by a ranger because ranger deals a physical attack. So next up, we're going to Sigard because Sigard is actually using a sword. So the sword is 20% damage dealt with basic with basic attack. So which includes a physical attack of 5%. Okay, so um this bonus does affect, doesn't affect skills. So it's only good for characters that rely on basic attacks or additional attacks, especially for Sighard and for your main character. So that is why this is actually purposely built for Sig Sighard to deal damage with one single blow, more or less, on his basic attack. So moving on to next would be Charlotte which is using a vampire set. So your vampire set is recovers 20 HP after using an active attack. Best rune usually for Charlotte. I am actually using this as well for Peacock if you've seen um, the account that I have for Peacock. So as, as you can see here, it's the same or this rune but lower rarity. So I'm using this rune more on for multiple damage dealers and more or less for um, multiple damage, high damage, but squishy damage dealers or DPSers. So that is why it's best for uh, warriors with rapiers because they attack fast and multiple, but they have a big attack, but they're easy to kill. So that is it. So that is it for the last one. Um... I'm not recommending really the rest as you as you as you as you remember. So those are the runes that I've been using. And if you have any question on the runes, guys, please put a comment down below in this video and we'll discuss. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.